So this is a, a pony that we just got in for training. Um, I guess it rides pretty good for the kids, but it's super pushy on the ground. And so um, I'm gonna have Grace kind of demonstrate um, uh, kind of some common um, habits that people have um, when they're dealing with a horse that's pushy on the ground. So one is that they try to push their body with their hands um, off of them like that. And they also tend to hold the snap too close. You can see she's got her hand right underneath the halter. And uh, these are kind of the habits that people have that um, you know cause the animals to want to be more pushy because essentially they're, they're being given zero responsibility to, to not be pushy. So what she's gonna start doing now is Grace is gonna wave the stick side to side and go ahead and wave the stick side to side up higher. There you go, up high there. And what that's doing is that's creating a, showing the horse where Grace's personal space bubble is. So it's not a yield, it's a block. We're saying to the horse, this is my space, respect my boundary, and um, if you cross into my boundary, you're gonna run into the stick. You're gonna run into some pressure there, okay? Um, so now, Grace, go ahead and go for a walk somewhere and then stop and own your space again. And stop. Yep, good. Very good, just like that. So you can see right away the horse is like, oh, and there's the little lick and chew. Very nice. You can see already the horse is blinking. He's got a little more connection. It didn't take long at all. What I find that people tend to do with horses like this is they go to, they jump right into asking them for different yields in terms of like, can the horse back up? Can the horse go sideways? Can the horse yield its four quarters? And I want to get into all that stuff, but baseline um, safety is just, can you understand that I have a personal space bubble? Okay. So go ahead and go for a walk again, Grace, and you're going to do the same thing. This time, don't try to stop and turn and face the horse. Just stop and just wave the stick back and forth side to side. And you're gonna to wanna to keep the stick above your rope. There you go. Yeah, I find that keeping the stick up high works better. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a quick mistake that's common that people make. So Grace, I want you to wave the stick and then when you get to the horse's nose, I want you to lift it up and over the head and then back through. Go ahead and show me that. Wave it towards the horse and then up and over, yeah. And then wave it towards the horse, up and over. And that's what people tend to do is they tend to intentionally miss the horse instead of touching the horse wherever the horse is pushing on them. And uh, that's really the key to um, getting the horse to respect your space and believe you that you have a personal space by blocking them. So go ahead and touch the horse if you can. Don't go closer to it, but just touch it. Yeah, wherever it's, wherever it's at. Good. Okay, go for a walk again. Walk kind of with a purpose. And stop. Yep, don't avoid the nose. You touch whatever sticking out. There you go. There we go. Because the horse has to believe you. And then you got to make sure you give enough slack in the rope that it can take it out. Very nice. And stop. Very good. Good. So you can see that time the horse really respected her space more and uh, is staying out of the way. So now that we got to this stage, now what we're going to do is Grace is going to turn and face the horse. And she's going to pick a target beyond the horse, something that the horse is like a line. Like, I don't know if that white barrel over in the corner there is, is, is in that line or not, but go ahead and pick a focus and you're going to walk through the center of the horse while waving the stick vertically up and down. Okay, don't look at the horse. Wave the stick vertically. Yep, and walk slowly. Keep the stick above the rope. And we're just gonna ask the horse to step off of this line. Very good. Now, there you kind of moved off your line to touch the horse. Okay. And not a big deal, go ahead and stop now. So the idea is that the horse learns to just yield off that line. So you wanna make sure the pressure is on that line, not at the horse. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand directly um, on the line here. So Grace is gonna focus on me. You guys can see we got a horse on that line. Now Grace walks straight to me. Don't wave her off your line. You already turned to the left. Okay. There you go. Focus on me and wave your stick. Let the horse yield off this line. There you go. So now the horse is off that line and now all we can see is Grace. See if he'll move off that line as you walk towards him. Very good. 
Perfect. Very nice, Grace. Keep walking. Keep finishing it. You want it to be super clear to him <clears throat> that all he needed to do was move off that line. Okay, now turn, stop. Wave your stick because he's in your space of hair. There you go. Good. Turn and face him. Come back down. Nice. Very nice. So that's what we're going for there. Really good for the first session. We're about 25 minutes in.